We're going to hear some um, of the wonderful stuff from Mick, Mick Head and the Red Elastic Band. Is that right, Mick? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. What's your name? My name's Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. Number four. Uh, pleased to have, really pleased to have you here. Um, you're a couple of months late. Two months ago, I actually uh, learned one of your songs and had it all prepared for you, played it, and you never turned up. I was broken hearted. It was Streets of Kenny, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so you're, you do um, quite a lot of your solo stuff now, and this is the yeah. Red Elastic Band, yes? Yeah. Um, sorry, keep just a little bit closer to the microphone okay. for me, thanks. Um, and how long has this been going on for you, Mick? The Red Elastic Band? Yeah. Um, about three years. Okay, and where have you travelled with the Red Elastic Band? Um, around the country and not really abroad. Not really abroad? Are you looking to maybe go abroad with it? Or? Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. just it's like a work in progress at the moment. Um, and how have you been received around the country? Because you, you are known formally of the uh, lead singer from Shaq, yeah. aren't you? And also, um, sorry, what was the other band previously? Strand. Pearl sorry? Pearl That's it, yeah. Um. <laughs> Tim, Timo's in there with, with the answers quicker than Mickey's. Um, so yeah, how, did, how have you been received around the country? Um, it's been going really well. Um, because it's the red last of band, it's been, been people on stage very, sometimes it's just me. Um, in the park, we have like 30 on stage, which is really good. Is that right? It's got the red elastic bit, yeah, so that it's like, you know, you, you stretch and then you go back to you. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. yeah so it's kind nice. of an idea where we can just be um, various people join them to collect with them. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so, um, on your beautiful 12 string there, what, what's the first song you're going to play for us? Is, is there a story behind it? Or what's it called? Um, and how did it come about? Um, it's called Cadiz. And, um, I wrote it a few years ago, I was um, just wrote it at home really, it's a, I have a dream, and then wrote the song about it. Uh, never been to Cadiz, but um, the song's beautiful. But you went to it in your dream, did, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, well maybe that's somewhere where you are going to go and play it. I would say, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Very nice, um, well I'm really looking forward to this, um, if you take it away for us please. Okay, thanks. History, like where in Liverpool you were born and um, who you grew up around, what your friends were like. Just a, a little um, insight into your young life. 
Um, well, my nana lived at the back here, or my uncle, and I'm feeling. A lot of the so songs were written just over there, and my dad lived over there, so it's kind of... So just over there for you all, uh, people listening out there <laughs> in the ethos, it's, it's the other side of Holt Road, yeah? Is that the real Kenny? What's the real Kenny yeah, yeah. team? I, 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 I said the real Kensington's be the side of the reservoir. Well, the other side of the reservoir. It's Kensington yeah. Fields, isn't it? Right. It is, yeah. yeah. I forgot we were on the radio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other side of Holt Road, basically. Uh, so I kind of grew up here. I grew up in Kensington when I was a kid, and then... Moved away and then moved back here uh, years later. Who did you, who did you used to hang around with? What were your mates like? Were they into music? Were you into music as a young lad, or uh, was you into football and girls, or? Footy and girls. And yeah. There wasn't many bands on the on the estate. I think I can't. There was a few, but um, after that, I kind of got into the music. Uh, my mates kind of fizzled away and buzzed on me the clothes I was wearing. I suppose. When did and when did you? Know that you was going to be a songwriter. Did you have something in you that felt like you had this? You, you needed to write songs and play guitar, and that you was going to front such a wonderful band and, and be critically acclaimed for it. Um, I was always I always liked writing in school. I was thought I was good at English, things like that. So I've always liked writing songs, and it kind of evolved as I got older when I learned guitar. You know, uh, combining songs into. The stories into songs really. When, when was your first big break? And do you, do you remember how you felt? I mean, was there a certain turning point in your musical career that, that you know, springboarded you to, to greatness? Not really. I think, for me personally, my biggest break was bumping into one of the Tears Up Explodes when they'd been on the telly um, in 1978. And I'd seen them on the telly and they blew me away. And the next day I bumped into them in town. And, uh, you know, I said, you're amazing, and he said, why don't you join a band? And I said, okay. And I couldn't play any instruments, but I kind of, he kind of done it for me. He so. sparked something, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, excellent. What's, what's your next track yeah. for us? Stranger. It's called Stranger. Stranger? Is there a story behind it, or is it one that unfolds and we'll learn by just yeah, listening? Yeah, it unfolds, yeah. Okay. Okay,
Timo said that he supported uh, you at the. Was it at the Flory? Sorry, Tommy. Yeah, 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 it was. But had you met before that? And um, no. if so, when, where? I knew um, I know Timo's uncle when I was growing up. Okay. On Kensington. Ah. Um, the old Kensington yeah. connection once well, again. Kenny Mafia. El Show of Heaven. <laughs> I, I've had a bit of L7 heaven myself, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wendy. <laughs> um, so, um, and, and so that was a natural progression that you, you thought, I want him to come and play some of that lovely lucky guitar for me. No, I didn't really know okay. uh, until only 10 years ago, but his uncle, I grew up, and I grew up with him in, on the estate and he was always there. Around, you know, about me out, and he was uh, like a second dad, really. You know, like, you know, hanging, you know, so the karmic cycle works its way around, and now, because you, I mean, you're, you're you're pretty busy with the, the T Street band, are you not, Timo? You know, yeah, this is a pleasure for me playing this. You know, playing the band, it's it's, it's a weird one. You're playing in the band, you're doing or come and playing. Yeah, it can it's almost hard. get like a bit of a commercial wheel as well, can't it? Being in a band and it's like a job, isn't it? Yeah, you're doing this play, you know. Playing these songs, you know, I know them anyway, so I don't have to rehearse them. Yeah. I love them. So yeah. Right. yeah. Fantastic. Um, any other musical people in your family? Other? I know your younger brother is John. Um, what was it like um, playing in all the bands with John? Were you, were you, was there sibling rivalry, or were you really best mates, or a bit of both? Both, really. Uh, I think there's always uh, brothers are always, you know. Uh, Have fisty cuffs every now and again, or did it never get to that? <laughs> I'm a southerner. Come on, I'm from London. It always came to this. No, no, there's, you know, our brothers, there's all this, you know, there's fisty cuffs and then your brothers aren't you, you make up and then, yeah. you know. And then, uh, what, was your, what was your best gig together, uh, out of whichever of the bands? Because I think he's been, he, he's plays with you um, sometimes in the Red Elastic as well, does he? Or? No. No? no. Oh. Um, um, I mean, we have, you know, we were together for, with three different bands for about 20 years. Yeah. So Is there a gig that stands out in your mind that for the pair yeah, of you it was an ultimate experience? Yeah, I mean, one of, uh, one of my heroes was Arthur Lee from Love. So I suppose we both played with him on stage. Did you, where did you support him in Liverpool? Because I, I got to see Arthur Love um, about six months before he died. Uh, it might have been a bit longer, but it was in Liverpool. And I, I didn't even know who it was, and I just landed in... Uh, one of the the O2 Academy, but the back bit or something. Because uh, I know I, I've seen you as well. It might have been when um, Ian Prowse was playing, and I got to see uh, Shaq play, and I, I didn't really know much about Shaq either then. But um, so that yeah, yeah, what a fantastic uh, man he was. I, I don't usually buy T-shirts or anything, but I, I came out of the gig bought two T-shirts and both his CDs the next day, and that, and it's you know been a great love ever since. Yeah. So, um, what inspires you to write your songs other than dreams, of course? You write them through dreams. Uh, uh, have you got songs about particular people? Yeah, loads. I'm writing all the time, really, so, um, you know, it's it, bits of fact on fiction. It's right across the board, really. I just enjoy it, and um, I'm going to start getting into short stories, and, and ultimately, like, some. Okay. That's the plan, right? Fantastic. But it, uh, you know, this is amazing what Simon's done here tonight, you know, with, with the, the guitar yes. class. It's, uh, I wasn't expecting it, he didn't tell me. Yeah. So no, it's, it's never it's, tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's way. it, it is, because then it, it has that um, no, magic star. Well, I knew he was doing it, and it's fantastic. And seeing the lads and the girls, uh, Diane, is it tonight? Or yeah. Something? I mean, yeah. Really. Diane, Danny, got... Jared, Tony. <gasps> yeah. My name remembering is getting better. Yeah. Oh my god. Tomorrow it won't be any good at all. <laughs> Um, so, other than John, any other musicians in your family? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, Singers? Was yeah, your mum a singer? Oh. Your sister's a good singer. She's a um, sense of sound orchestra. Ah, with Jennifer John and yeah. stuff. Yeah, okay. All the girls. So, um, and yeah, my mum and dad were musical. My mum was a good singer and my dad could get a tune, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And any below you? Have you got children uh, that are promising musicians? or? Yeah, they're all... They're, they're all my, my youngest son's got an amazing voice. Yeah. He's got an incredible voice, he doesn't have to try. He just, like, I'm listening to him, he just changes it. I'm like, wow. You know. And is he doing something with it? Is he actually being musical or no, he's with the girls and football? Go oh. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Um, what's your next song for us? Um, what's your name? Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do a song called X Hits the Spot. X Hits the Spot? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it, please, for Mick Head and the Red Elastic Band. X Hits the Spot! Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to tune on me, so they're like, yeah, no, that's fine. 
I mean, you know, pushing, pushing is not true, pushing is not good. If there's one thing you need to do before playing a song is tune up. Uh-huh. And what they're doing that, just to let you know as well, um, just a couple of different open mics that are going on in the, in town. Um, every Monday night at the Baltic Social down at the um, Baltic Triangle area of the city, uh, you've got Liverpool Acoustic Open Mic uh, hosted by Derek King. It's a fabulous night. He's a great host. Uh, get yourself down there. Um, every Wednesday at District in the Baltic Triangle, hosted by <laughs> that very delicious guy, Barry Sutton, cracking his shapes and, um, and everything else that he does during the open mics. Uh, he wants that to be the in place to go, um, so if you're looking to pick up your guitar, uh, go and do an open mic every Wednesday. Are we there? Yes. Yeah, sure. just a bit filling, and um, here we go, starting again. Florey. Yeah, we're doing a lot and London's done, uh, started it and um, 
Oh, no, she's like that. <laughs> we need to talk about these things, Anne. Well, yeah, I think it, it is getting saved. It's a work in progress. Um, you know, it, it was always going to be like a domino effect. You know, it get, get, there was no blueprints to get a vibe going, but people are, it's like where they're mounted at the moment. People are picking up on it, which is good. Yeah, because they put a whole load of things on there, don't they? And lots of different music yeah. events now. I remember um, they used to teach, have yoga sessions there as well, yeah. dance sessions. Zumba. Do they do all that? Still, are you into dance at all? Do you like to dance? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got two left feet, haven't you? Um, no, I used to in about 92 or something. I didn't get anybody. Um, no. Uh, no, I don't. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, do you have other than music and, of course, your family? I mean, have you got any um, golden nuggets of secret information about anything that we, no one else knows about you that you can tell me? Just me. Not everyone else in the room. You always get these questions that, you know, it's like, oh, I've answered them before in interviews, or I've told people that before. We love Piccadilly. I thought me once, it was like a Wednesday afternoon, I always remember just standing in the window looking out the window, and for some reason we saw something dead important, and then all of a sudden... You saw a bit of yellow on your dick. No, we were on the phone, and I went, do you like Piccadilly? And he went, Actually, mate, I've just been in the shop and got pickled in the eyes. I just have with cheese and now he went, Oh my god, I've been in the shop and I went, I'm malted bread. And he'd been and bought, and then we were throwing out like, like the pickles. When you get a pickle, it's like when the lot of you pickle lily. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cauliflower is like terrible, isn't it? Yeah, you can get a bit sour, yeah. Fantastic, that was really good. <laughs> like, that's the shit you There you go, brilliant. See, so you've heard it here first on the Orange Show. Um, so when are you playing next uh, in Liverpool? Are you, are you, have you got any plans to play here again soon? Um, at any of the um, night spots? What have we got? I mean, they're, they're going fast and furious though. They're dropping like flies all the, all the great places to play. I mean, a lot has been commercialised. What, what sort of events do you like to play? Do you like playing O2 academies or do you like playing places like the Lomax, which sadly is now gone? Yeah. If it's got a good atmosphere, um you know, I mean, we played the Zanzibar the other week, which was really good because it was a door room for people to stand on a stage and it was yeah. basic on a PA. But the sound system in there is very good, though. Yeah, it very good. Was it, was it Pat that was yeah. doing your sound engineering? Yeah, Pat. Yeah, yeah. he's fantastic. Hello, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a bad one. So, so, and, and so you've done Zanzibar last week. Have you, are you still around and going to play something before you head off? Are you going yeah. around the country again or? Making an album. Oh, okay. Um, so we're, we've done quite a lot for us, for me, basically the last 12 months. Yeah. Uh, but just keeping the momentum going with the Red Elastic Band and now we're putting it into all the work we've been doing, if you like, the gigs and getting the name around and that. And, uh, Sorry, is the album being released, Mick, or is it going to right. be... Bit... Yeah, we're a, a third of the way through it. Okay. So it's ongoing now. Yeah. Does um, it have a title? It's called Daddy or Senor Pussycat. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Vicar Lily can come in 2017 maybe, yeah. Fantastic, have you got, uh, and are these songs that you're playing that are going to be on this album? Um, uh, no, these are old songs, they're old new okay. ideas. Really. Okay, can you play us one that's going to be on the album? Is that possible? Let's play Dingy, the yeah. Get out your comfort zone, come on. Give them a choice, give the audience a choice, A or B. As long Which as I've got you. Yeah. I like that. Uh, yeah? Okay. There you go, the audience has chosen. Well done that man. Thank you. We're just nice having another nice. little another, that another little tune up and then sorry, yeah, sorry about this, okay. No, that's fine, you to tune away. Never a twelve string again on the radio. Oh, it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful,
fantastic. Um, are you ready to go straight in for another yeah. one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. Title. Yeah. What's the title? Streets of Kenny. Fantastic. Take that in. Powerful. Well, Fantastic. Come on. See you once more. As the MMA rightly said, a gifted songwriter of his generation, um, a lost genius. He's not lost, he's still very much here. Yeah. Meet Heads and yeah. a red plastic bag and Timo. Yeah.
Thanks for the